Hi, my name is Coach Phil Panato. I run the Lady Cool 35's 07 Showcase team, and I'm assistant coach at Doherty High School varsity softball. The high school team has, has had a couple rough years. Um, last year we had a really good year, ended up breaking all the school records, winning 24 games versus winning 21, I believe was the record they had before. So from year to year, uh, we ended up winning one game, going 1-11 and then bringing all my freshmen in this year and I'm going 24 and three. So big difference this year, especially with all the players that came in. I'm Kylie Peinado. I graduate the year of 2025. I go to Duarte High School and we are Division Seven. My name is Alyssa Garcia. I'm graduate of class 2025. I go to Duarte High School and our division is Division Seven. Not many fans came out. It was COVID year, but once all the freshmen came in and we started winning, beating all the big names out there, Staff started coming out, more fans started coming out, parents actually started coming out watching the games, and it was real good. We, every, every home game was a packed house, and it was really great to see. All the girls were good chemistry, and everyone w I feel like everyone wanted it just as bad as we did, so we all did our part into playing this big win for this school. My name is Emily Ramirez. I graduate the year 2025. I go to Duarte High School, and we are Division Seven. After the season we had this past year, the excitement's just all around. It's just not from us, it's coming from the principal, the athletic director, everyone's waiting for softball to start. And, and yeah, there's a big time talk about us, this and that, about Duarte being up there, top dogs again. But like I said, I want to go out there and prove it to everybody, you know, because we're the under, to me, we're the underdogs still. Yes, yeah, so I have three girls, uh, two Bonita girls and one girl from Garfield, uh, Audrey Garza and Mel Vaca from Bonita and Nadia Korea from Garfield. Big years, went very far, and Duarte was really close again there too. But those girls, they came in, they shined. They got their patches and went on to state and then ended up going all the way to semifinals in state. So, um, you know, hopefully next year they repeat. Hi, I'm Audrey Garza. I'm class of 2025. I attend at Bonita High School and we're Division Three. Hi, my name is Melanie Vaca. I'm graduating class of 2025. I go to Bonita High School in Laverne and we are Division Three. Hello, my name is Nadia Carrillo. I'm class of 2025. I attend Garfield High School at Division II. We made it to CIF and we won. And it was a great experience, it was fun. It was nerve wracking playing at CIF, even being a freshman, but I knew I had to put that aside because I knew my team needed me and I just had to give them my all. I was on JV for the season um, and then I had gotten moved up to varsity and had experienced CIF. The girls you play with on varsity, they become like your sisters and it's a great experience and I'm so thankful and grateful that I got to play with them and experience that and that level of competition. We made history in our high school which is like amazing feeling because you're a part of that. In the CIF game, uh, I was 0 for 2 and um, I was at bat, we were tied 3-3, and I had to help my team out. I knew it was my time. I knew I had to overcome it. I couldn't get mad at myself, no matter what the outcome was. And I did, and I scored a, I made a two-run double to take the lead. And winning it just makes it better, because we needed it for our community, our school, and just as a team to grow. One of my short-term goals is being able to make it to CIF again and getting some more playing time. And one of my long-term goals is to graduate and play college softball. It's me watching these girls grow and having the girls get letters from colleges, you know, being on max preps, player of the game, this and that. That's my excitement for the girls and my excitement to see them go to college. One of my short-term goals is to be a starter on varsity. And one of my long-term goals is to at least go D1 in softball for college and I think if I work hard enough, I think I'll make it there. Yes, actually, I see uh, basically the whole team. You know, their goal is to go to college. You know, and that's and, I, and that's where I come in. My my job is to push them to get it done. Call outside coaches, call schools. Hey, come look at this player. Put him in all these showcases. But their mindset right now is to go D1 or any college just to get some softball in and graduate. You know. Anything that uh, school can pay for keeps money out of the parents' pockets even better, you know? So that's the goal for all the girls right now. Long-term goal is to get to the higher level, like college ball or pro. When I was growing up, softball wasn't a big thing. It wasn't a big thing. It was just baseball, 
was for boys and there wasn't a professional league, now there is. And now there's opportunity for these girls to actually go to school, graduate, play softball, and get drafted to actually play a pro sport, play pro softball. You know, and that's the excitement I get too because there's a handful of these girls that can, that, that can do it. One of my favorite memories is probably when we went out to Colorado and won the silver bracket. Every year that we play, we go to a tournament out of state. You know, we're supposed to get eliminated here and there, and we end up winning the tournament. It's the excitement I get every year. My favorite part of being on the 45s is that I feel like I could be a part of a family, and like I, ha I know they have my back when I'm on the mound or when I'm having a rough time. Like I know they have me. They could get me with their bats. They can help me with on the field and outside of the team, they help me get through life. For me, my strength as a teammate is to be there for my girls when down. I'm the oldest on the team, so I would like to say I'm a role model for them just because I know when I get down, they're gonna get down. So I just wanna make sure that I'm there for my team, playing my heart out on the field, doing my best and just being there for my girls when they're down or anything. We compete in all the big top tournaments to show the girls that you know they belong here and which we do. You know, we have several championship tournaments that we went to out of state winning. So uh, it's very competitive and you know, I like the way the girls do and compete. Uh, you can check us out on Lady Co 45 Spinato 07 on IG. Follow us on Game Changer as well. My post everything as far as friendlies tournaments are going at. So if you guys want to check us out, feel free to do so.